All right, time for some short track racing. And we've already got someone screwing around on the grid back there. Okay, so Southern National, once again, we've been here quite a bit over the last few weeks and uh, kind of looking forward to this one. Starting outside front row and hopefully we can keep the streak up of zero incidents. So far, not a single incident this season in ARCA, but I don't think that's going to last here. For some reason, the name of the Quaker State car behind me in third place, I don't know if he's a viewer or someone that I've seen wreck, but um, the name for some reason looks familiar and so does the paint and I'm hoping doesn't mean we're going to die into turn one. Luckily he got a bad start so we're going to go ahead and dive down, take the second spot and sit here and relax and the leader's starting to blink. So I don't want to push it too hard. Not that I think tires are going to come into play. I just don't really need to push it at this point. Lap traffic's going to get a bit messy. Fastest way around is slowing down, and getting all the way to the bottom without hitting the apron. Got a little mess back there. Someone got shot up the track. So far, no... Uh, no wrecks. Got a little, little heavy on the gas there. Guy behind, kind of putting the pressure on a bit now. But yeah, very loose off the corner if you're getting on the gas too hard. So, not a normal feeling that you get in the Arca car, but. Don't overdrive the corner. I've got the brake bias back to 60 to start off. We'll move it back as needed. But very easy on the throttle off the corner because you will start to destroy the tires. And the five car is going to screw the third three car over. Almost got into him. Three cars hauling ass making that middle group work but he's also looking like he's working the rear tires pretty hard to go on the outside there so five car almost sent him up the track amazingly still no massive pile up no cautions in this series so not going to be something that we know happens around the track. We'll go back and look at all the uh, incidents after the race, but car's feeling good. There we go. Now it begins. Looking out the left side of the car, I can only see what you see, so I'm just looking at that little sliver. Oh my god, the leader almost got wrecked by the 20 car. Well, now we got one up top. Smoke. And the dodging begins. Couldn't see that car in my mirror. That guy's trying to get to the pits, I think. Another car stopped down low. Oh, yes, and a blinking, getting loose lap car. The one car has had an issue. Okay, he lets me go. Losing time to the leader. But we got past that 20 car. He was uh, kind of scaring me there. Now we're going to have people coming out of the pits. There is no merge line, so some people might just come up way too early. Pretty much, it's going to get exciting. It's going to get messy. If I can get second, awesome. Very surprised the three car has not got past the five. He looked like he was hauling ass. 
Start to pick the pace back up a bit. Leader a little tap of the wall there. Now we're actually into lap traffic. People that haven't really wrecked, they're just back here. Leader gets a little loose off the corner, it looked like. He might be hurting his rears. That's why I'm just easing it off the corner. I don't want to burn up the rear tires because it's just going to get harder and harder as the race goes on if the tires are lighting up off the corner. It's not really something that you have to deal with too much in iRacing, but for some reason, this setup here will really lighten them up. Third of the way in after we complete this next lap. Keeping it clean, but it's going to get more difficult because these four cars ahead, five cars ahead, are racing for positions. Don't really want to get lapped. Strength of field's a bit low. Not terrible, but uh, not what you normally get on the first race of the week, but we've also got the national championship game going on, so might have reduced the amount of people signing up tonight. being nice so far Car trying to give a lot of space off the corner staying lower than I normally would got two lap cars battling for position ahead of the leader right now it's gonna slow him down a bit 16 car gets loose mid corner and spins out behind us leader just spins out and we are now the leader. Unforced air there. I think he was just trying to go a little hard to get a run on these guys. Now I just got to watch out for any pass attempts by the 7 on the 18. The 18's getting a little loose off the corner. Need to be aware of that. I've got one and a half seconds to work with. So I don't have to force my way up through these. That lead is slightly growing. If I can get past these guys, awesome. I don't want to stay behind them too long. Seven car, come on, man. Thank you. I have a feeling this 18 car is not going to move out of the way. Got people coming out of the pits, going to run a little higher. 18 is really sideways on entry. A little higher line made me a bit looser than I wanted out of the corner. Two seconds behind to second place, so growing that lead out. No need to force anything. Think about the zero X's, not the W. 18's going to move out of the way. Is he going to not spin out on the outside of me? And I helped the 7 get by. That was the 7's best bet on making a move more smoke ahead. We got the 21 who scared me to death in practice a few times. So, can we get around him? We're also going to have people on newer tires. I probably already mentioned that. I've been kind of talking non-stop just because. See the smoke go the other way. But yeah, just uh, talking non-stop because 
tons of action happening. Please be nice to me, seven car. I will help you get around these people. Outside, 15.849, stay low. Oh, 21, why are we hitting the brakes on exit? Please move out of the way. Cast off down low. Damn it, 21. Cast off down low. Oh, Go what high. the fuck? 16.263, still there. A little anger. Luckily, he got away with a 0x. Really not concerned about x's, but am concerned about getting taken out and losing the race because some dumbass is driving across the track. Sorry if you're a viewer, but that was stupid. You could have backed up. 15.557, go high. All right, 1.1 back to the five. Lost a big chunk. Slow car download, 15.588. Also got the 16 behind us who is on fresher tires than we are. But he's not as quick. So I don't want to let him by because he's going to end up slowing us down eventually. Now we got to pass this damn 21 again. He's a little nicer to us. Is the 22 going to be paying attention? What are these two guys doing up here? They're not even racing each other for position. 12 cars all over the fucking place. Chrome wheels in a camo car. That is disgusting. Chrome neon green wheels and a camo car. All right, these two are racing. But are you are you fucking blocking me? Is that what's happening here? Or did you just get loose? Okay. He is. He doesn't know how to get lapped. It looks like he was not aware that I was going to try to go to the inside. A little more swear words coming out. You're getting a little antsy. We're, we're in the clear. We're pulled away from the five. We're pulled away. We have pulled away. And yes, I talk as in we as the channel. I understand you want to get up to this guy, 16, but you're not even on the same lap, it appears. So not too concerned. 12 car has wrecked behind. 11 car is kind of sliding up the track. Is he going to let me lap him? Or is he going to fight it and get loose off the corner and wreck us? Just got past the 12 car as he comes out of the pits. 11 car is coming down off the wall. You're not racing that guy. You don't need to go too hard. Okay. We're getting near the end. We're getting there. Rears are getting a little hot. It's that idiot again. This time he didn't come all the way across the front stretch after he wrecked. Ten to go. If this guy behind pressures me at all, I'm going to let him go. I don't think I need to even pass the people in front. Because I do not see the five car behind us. He's at least half a lap behind. Car's getting looser and looser. I really pushed it a little hard.
16 was nice to me there. Didn't try to, like, dive it up in the middle around a wreck. I think we're all just trying to get to the end now. There's going to be a lot of damn wrecks to watch after this. I love this place, though. Really would have loved to see what a uh, bigger strength of field, like being around the number 12 car, would be. I think that would have been a really fun race. Difficult, though. I'm going to go ahead and get this guy past me. Inside. Just, I do not want any issues. Jack has had a bad race. He, he was outpacing me in practice and then didn't hit that same mark in qualifying. It looks like he has had a rough, rough race since, since he's sitting in 17th. But he's got some fresh tires, it looks like. Let you get another lap in. And there we go. Another win here. Didn't pass anyone. But, uh... <laughs> didn't wreck. Yep. All crew chief in a fixed set race. Um, there we go. A W, another 0x race. That is now five ARCA races in a row this season. Five out of five with 0x. Um, <laughs> I can't believe that. Got a little angry. Got a little, a little worried about surviving there but uh worked out in the end let's take a look at the wrecks uh, eleven why are you spinning out this early that sucked for the seven. He just got a little front end damage. All right, so stacked him up, and that is how the one car got smashed. And then the one car, what was that? He's just getting out of the way, it looks like. The car gets a little loose and hits the wall in the middle of the straightaway. Self spin out of the 22. 20 car, middle of the back stretch. And I don't know why people gun it into the corner after they do something like that. That's twice that that guy's done that. Blinking out. Middle of the backstretch. Drives into the corner way too deep. What'd you do, Jack? Oh, you're doing the middle of the backstretch, too. 16. Loops it. Can't smash the gas here. 18 gets loose. Oh, it wasn't the 6. It was the damn 18. That 18 really screwing up everyone's race. Let's take a look at a higher view here. 18 goes in, cuts down in front of the leader, loops it. 6 gets into the back of him and spins. Wow, that sucks for that guy. I think he would have beat me. Easily. But the 18 almost took me out as well, so... Three car almost eats the wall. He was really flying and then just vanished. 
I think he still ended up second. Blinking out, blinking out. Blinking out. Damn blinkers. Oh my god, 18. It's not that hard. Especially going this slow. Oh man, six is going. And then a guy wants to pit in front of him. 22 has looped it. He loops it around though, instead of driving across the track. Then the two car gets into the back of the 18. Then the 18 loops it. And then instead of looping it around, I guess, well, nope. Then he just sits there. And then he drives up across the track, takes out the seven. Oh, and there's where Jack dies. That wreck lasted forever. I can't believe we didn't get back to it. The 12, he thinks he's on a dirt track, and away he goes. How'd the five get damage? That's what I want to see. Was it in that massive wreck? He must have been one of them in it. Yeah, so 18 drives across the track, and 5 just does not see that everyone's checking out. Then we're going to see this again. I'm so glad I made it through that. I would have been so pissed off. 22. It's really really needs to go out and drive the outside line. Like, if you're worried about getting past, go drive the top side. Just do a bunch of laps up there. Learn how you gotta drive it out of the corner. Because if you only run the racing line, and then you have to move up, you're gonna screw up. So, it's gonna make you a lot easier to pass. Self-spin. Blink out. Got a checkered flag. And there you go. There's all the wrecks. So, let's take a look at results. So, 2,590i rating. Strength of field, I mean. I rating goes up 72, but we've lost a bunch from a lot of, a lot of bad finishes. Because I think we we're almost up to 36 at one point. Uh, gained some I, uh, safety rating and 158 championship points. So, nice little haul of points there. Led 36 laps. No incidents. That's, I'm, I'm really happy about that. Five for five in five weeks. So, it's not something where I'm going to race any different, but it's just going to be on my mind. Can I make the whole season without an incident? Like, I made it through Sonoma without one. So, that's, uh, and then making it through this one. Daytona? Probably not. Probably not going to happen. Unless I just dried half a lap back. There you go. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, we survive, but really happy we got a race here because very fun track, but it's going to get messy. So thanks for watching.